On January 5th, 2024, Johannesburg, one of South Africa's major cities, was struck by a severe rainstorm that led to flooding across numerous areas. The primary transport system in the Gutang province was brought to a standstill due to the waterlogged roads following the thunderstorm on Friday afternoon. The South African Weather Service had issued warnings about the potential for heavy rain and thunderstorms on that Friday. Social media became a vital outlet for sharing a multitude of videos and images showcasing the intense rainfall and flooding in areas such as Alberton, Germiston and Bedford View, as well as the damages inflicted by the downpour in Johannesburg. The N3 highway in the Bedford View and Germiston area were also submerged, further testament to the storm's fury. Warnings were disseminated to the residents of Johannesburg through social media by the Gutang province, urging people to steer clear of unnecessary risks. Notably, residents in the heart of Johannesburg witnessed the extraordinary sight of the taxi rank engulfed by water, forcing passengers to remove their shoes and wade through the water to reach their taxis. Several roads in Gutang reported conditions of flooding or significant waterlogging, complicating travel and movement. We strongly advise the public to avoid unnecessary risks by opting for alternative routes instead of attempting to navigate through the roads and bridges that might be prone to flooding. The uncertain conditions pose a real danger to life. The areas hardest hit include Galulis Levy Drive in Johannesburg, along with Fish Eagle Hill and Alberton to the east of Johannesburg, where the roads had to be closed. Amid the harsh weather conditions, the Road Traffic Management Corporation advised drivers to take safety precautions while driving. <laughs> This included reducing speed, maintaining a safe distance from other vehicles, turning on lights and avoiding crossing the flooded bridges. The agency also urged drivers to thoroughly check their vehicles to ensure they meet the road safety standards, including inspecting lights, windshield wipers, windscreens, braking system and tires before embarking on the journey. <laughs> The Johannesburg Emergency Management Services received reports of flooding in Morningside and Alexandra. However, there were no reports of casualties or injuries. Also, they received information about a vehicle stuck in floodwaters in Johannesburg, but fortunately the people inside were successfully rescued. A spokesperson for the Disaster and Emergency Management Service announced that despite the occurrence of flash floods in some areas, no requests for assistance were made to them. Fortunately, there have been no reports of serious injuries or fatalities in Johannesburg following the heavy rain that caused the flooding. Furthermore, the Johannesburg Emergency Services confirmed another incident in the Jukuski River in the town of Alexandra.
However, the number of incidents following the flooding in the city center and surrounding areas on Friday were reported to be very low. Local residents affected by the flooding have been advised to remain vigilant as harsh weather conditions continue to impact Johannesburg. Natural disasters are occurring with increasing frequency and danger. So what truly lies behind these events? Is climate change the main culprit or are we receiving warnings from the spiritual world? He said that excessive environmental exploitation has led to the anger of the spiritual world and we are being punished? We are eager to hear your thoughts. Please leave your comments so we can discuss together and find solutions for the future. Two months prior to the disaster in Johannesburg, the Pumalenga region in South Africa was also devastated by a natural calamity. On November 21, 2023, a natural disaster swept through Pumalenga in South Africa, causing severe consequences. A powerful storm struck the city of Bombella and surrounding areas around 3 p.m., leaving a trail of widespread devastation. This disaster brought heavy rainfall, strong winds and lightning resulting in significant damage. The sight of uprooted trees, floods overflowing onto the R40 route near Riverside along with lampposts and signage from buildings being blown away testified to the disaster's might. The aftermath of the storm made many roads in Bumbella difficult to navigate and covered in debris. A building on Anderson Street saw its roof blown off, causing at least one injury. At the old exhibition area on Bell and R40 streets, only one lane was open due to the upturned trees. Another tree was overturned on Waterfall Avenue in Riverside, but was cleared away. Beyond the material damage, this natural disaster also inflicted human suffering, raising concerns about the safety of the residents in the future. It was indeed a difficult day as many residents said they had never experienced such a fierce storm before. With winds reaching up to 120 kilometers per hour, the situation became even more challenging and several traffic accidents occurred during the disaster. Despite the storm lasting less than 20 minutes, it left behind heavy rainfall of about 30 millimeters, causing localized flooding on some key roads. The government called for heightened vigilance as the area was expected to continue receiving significant rainfall. Residents were advised to keep a close eye on the weather and watch water levels, especially in low-lying areas. However, the weather stabilized the following day, but this natural disaster will forever remain an unforgettable memory in the hearts of those who witnessed it. On November 13th, a rare and natural disaster occurred in the city of Johannesburg as it endured hailstones as large as eggs falling from the sky.
This event caused severe damage throughout the most populous city of South Africa with many windows, roofs and vehicles heavily damaged. Videos circulating on the internet show us the power of this natural disaster. In just a few minutes, the falling hail blanketed the streets in white, posing a danger to the local residents. The falling speed of the hailstones was likened to people being shot from a hail cannon. In such harsh weather, residents should be cautious when traveling outdoors. If it is not urgent, it is advisable to stay indoors and avoid unfortunate incidents. A gas station could not withstand the strong winds and collapsed, crushing the nearby cars. Fortunately, everyone was able to escape from the vehicle safely. Residents living in Midrand, Four Ways and surrounding areas reported heavy hail starting around 5 p.m. Meanwhile, the motorists were trapped on the N1 highway following the heavy downpour. A victim of the hailstorm shared that it was one of the worst experiences he'd ever had. In just a few short minutes, huge hailstones pelted the roofs of the cars, creating a terrifying noise. Many agricultural areas also suffered from the ravages of natural disaster, with estimated damages amounting to the millions of dollars. The heavy rainfall also caused flooding in several low-lying areas of the city. Water inundated the lobby of the Sun City Hotel, disrupting life there. The first floor was almost submerged, causing extensive damage to the infrastructure. The staff were powerless as the water rushed in too quickly and forcefully. This event also disrupted the vacation plans of many tourists. Numerous visitors complained that their holiday was ruined by the suffering inflicted by the natural disaster. Images shared from the balcony of a high-rise building in the city centre captured a surreal scene. In just a moment, the entire landscape was covered in white hail. This is likely one of the rarest events that this nation of South Africa has ever faced. The hailstone, as large as eggs, destroyed many windows, spreading fear among the residents. The sound of the hail falling into the city echoed through the streets, serving as a powerful reminder of nature's unpredictable strength.
Before the hailstorm appeared, the Palanga region had already witnessed an unexpected tornado, a massive column of air carrying a storm and strong winds near the Tatuka power plant. Although it did not cause direct damage to the nearby residential areas, the appearance of the tornado raised concerns about the possibility of prolonged power outages if the plant was affected. No insurance company. I'm not so. I need big shoes today. Emergency services was immediately deployed to respond to the natural disaster related events. Despite no reports of casualties, this event posed a significant challenge for the rescue and emergency services. The large sized hail caused many roads to become congested with fallen trees and a substantial amount of hail falling from the sky. Insurance companies are currently overloaded with claims, but the executive director at Santam stated that it is too early to estimate the total extent of the damage caused by this natural disaster. According to the Weather Warning Agency, there is a possibility of more hail in the coming days and people should be prepared for harsh weather in the next two to three days. Many citizens are being advised on how to protect their property during the rainy season and are being guided to find suitable shelters in case of similar natural disasters. The damage caused by the hailstorm is immense and the heavily destroyed cars bring sorrow to its owner. Images recorded at a car parking area showcase the power of the natural disaster. Even the sturdy structures collapsed and fell onto the cars below. Insurance companies are urgently supporting affected customers to address the consequences of the hailstorm. Large hailstorms are among the most terrifying natural disasters, bringing severe consequences in terms of destruction. When these giant hailstones fall, they can cause heavy damage to infrastructure, homes, vehicles and agriculture. Roofs and windows are shattered, vehicles are damaged, and even the agricultural landscape is destroyed, leading to significant economic losses. Moreover, hailstones pose a direct threat to human safety with the risk of causing severe injury. The occurrence of large hailstorms is also a warning sign of the increasing impacts of climate change, as the frequency and intensity of extreme weather events continue to rise. Communities and governments need to collaborate to develop disaster response plans, educate the community on how to protect themselves and their properties, and invest in early warning systems to minimize the risks and damages. Please leave your discussion comments below the video comment section. Thank you very much for your keen interest, follow up and enthusiastic support. Don't forget to like and subscribe to the channel. For now we say goodbye and look forward to seeing you in our next videos. Wishing everyone a warm day with your family.